So in this video, I will be doing a 5G internet speed test with this router here, which is a ZTE MC801A. Now this particular router is one that has been modified by routermods.co.uk. And the particular modification for this one is the two port modification. Now the two port modification is basically where router mods redirect the internal 5G signal from the external TS9 ports on the back and basically reconnect them to two SMA sockets that they put on the front of the router. So I'm going to run the speed test twice. The first one is to use the modified router with indoor external antennas, which are going to be these two here, which are also available at routermods.co.uk. And then the second test will be using outdoor external antennas and for that I'm going to be using a Blue Spot Mini 5G once again also available at routermods.co.uk. So the first test is the router with the indoor external antennas and I've just placed this in a good location in my living room and as we can see here I am getting 5G and also a good signal. And as far as signal or signals are concerned for the indoor external antennas this is the network information page on the router itself and this will give us information such as signal strength and signal to noise ratio. And so now to what is quite possibly the most important part of this comparison and that is the speed tests so right now what we are looking at are the speed test runs for the external indoor antennas so what i'm using here is speedtest.net and i'm also going to do this test three times over to get an average however this is going to take some time so what i'm doing here is to just speed up this speed test as you can see on the screen and then at the end what i will do is to do a comparison between the indoor external antennas and then the outdoor external antennas and then compare their averages. And so moving over now to the outdoor external antennas and what I've done here is to place the router in the exact same place as what it was for the indoor external antennas. And the reason for that is because regardless of what type of 5G antennas you are using, the router also has to pick up a 4G signal as well. So therefore what I've done is to leave the router in the same place because its internal 4G antennas are what are being being used to trigger the 5G so I'm just kind of leaving it in the same position just to be fair but nonetheless this is what the router's position is like with the external outdoor antennas and as we can see it is on 5G with a full signal and then once again this is the network information from the router itself but this time we are obviously looking at the signal to noise ratio and also the signal strength for the outdoor external antennas and then once again back to the all important speed testing and just as I did with the indoor external antennas what I'm going to do here is to run this test three times over but once again I will just kind of speed up through this because it really is going to take a little bit of time to do this three pass and I don't think people are going to want to sit there and watch the three passes go through as interesting as I think this all is it does get a little bit boring but once again I will then do an average at the end for the comparison okay Okay, so to the comparisons now and just a quick refresh on the positioning of the routers here and to be fair what I've done here is to obviously place the router in the same place for both of the tests and then as far as the network information pages are concerned for both of these setups on the left hand side what we're looking at there is the indoor external antennas and then on the right hand side we are looking at the outdoor external antennas now the interesting thing here is to obviously see the differences between the signal to noise ratios and also the signal strengths and as we can see here we do get a fair difference for both of those readings now I'm not going to get too bogged down and over analyze anything at this point but if you're interested in this stuff here just pause the video and then continue when you're ready and so to the really exciting part of the video and that is to compare the two sets of readings for the speed tests so as we can see 
see here, as far as the indoor external 5G antennas were concerned, I was getting a really decent latency or ping of 33 millisecond. Now, for whatever reason, when I switched over to the outdoor external antennas, that increased to 49 millisecond. Now, although that does look like a huge difference, in practice, you don't really notice that with anything, and you probably wouldn't even feel that with gaming and stuff like that. However, it starts shifting the other way now towards the outdoor external antennas, because as far as upload is concerned, on the indoor external antennas, I'm at 21 megabits per second as the average across the three tests. However, when we move over to the external outdoor antennas, we are now getting an average upload of 29 megabits per second. Now, whilst that difference between 21 to 29 may not seem that big, in essence, it is a huge difference, especially if you're doing large uploads like I do, say, for instance, to YouTube. So yes, that difference there is definitely a whole 8 megabit difference or 1 megabyte, and that is a huge difference as far as uploads are concerned. Now, when I move over to the download averages, there is absolutely nothing that needs explaining here because these numbers are completely different. Now what it is, using the indoor external antennas, I'm actually getting a really respectable 162 megabits per second. And just to put that into context, that's somewhere in the region of like five times faster than my landline internet connection. So that there is extremely fast anyway. However, moving over to the external outdoor antennas, that shoots up and way more than doubles right up to to 453 megabits per second and that is a massive difference now one thing that i'm going to have to make extremely clear here are those results and the fact that even if you had the exact same setup as me, you are unlikely to get the exact same results. You might get worse results, or indeed, you could even get better results. And the reason why that is, is because when I switched over to use the outdoor external antenna, where my antenna is positioned, I'm maybe about a mile, a mile and a half away from my nearest 5G cell tower. And also, I've got pretty clear line of sight. I do have trees and stuff in the way as well but I'm quite high up as well so I kind of get to see where that 5G antenna mast is so for me personally my results are really good because of my location and like the direction towards the cell tower where I pick up my 5G signal so basically what this means is this even if you were to have the exact same physical setup that I've got, same router, same antenna, same cable length, all that stuff, you would definitely be under a different physical scenario compared to what I am. As in, main thing is distance to your nearest 5G cell tower. And then obviously any obstructions and whatnot that might be in between you and that cell tower. So just bear that in mind when you're dealing with like, you know, wireless or Wi-Fi signals and stuff like that it is solely down to the signal strength and in this instance well more to do maybe with line of sight and stuff like that to do with the 5g cell tower where you're picking up your signal from anyways i could carry on rabbiting on about all kinds of stuff here to do with these types of things which i will do in future videos because as well as doing other videos about very specific router setups i'm also going to start doing the odd kind of explainer video to do with the technologies to do with 4G and 5G and things such as antenna placement and stuff like that. So that should just about wrap up this video. I'm David Harry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.